Right now, a new report says Grady Hospital has one of the top five busiest emergency rooms in the country. The report by Nice RX Health says Grady had more than 160,000 emergency room visits in 2021. That is the fourth highest total in the country. Grady's emergency room visits have increased since the closing of Atlanta Medical Center earlier this year. The growth is putting a strain on Grady's staff, too. Grady, uh, Jerry Carnes spoke to one of the ER doctors about it. Another night at Metro Atlanta's only level one trauma center. Another time for healthcare providers like Dr. Katrina Gibson to feel the strain. For patients, this means longer wait times, a lot of frustration with the healthcare system. According to NICE RX, there were more than 51,000 general admissions to emergency rooms throughout the state of Georgia in 2021. More than 21,000 ER visits were for deliveries, 14,000 for surgery. The closing of Atlanta Medical Center left Grady as the only level one trauma center in the metro area. We are a safety net hospital, so what that means is our patients are disproportionately uninsured or underinsured. We are doing our best to respond to this increased number of patients, including hiring of new faculty, nurses. Car crashes and crimes have contributed to the growing number of people headed to Grady's ER. Dr. Gibson expects the numbers will continue to grow. And as people are beginning to travel more and feel more comfortable doing so, to see their families over the holidays, we are likely going to see spikes in COVID as well as influenza. And Grady recently created a new nursing helpline to address overcrowding in its emergency room. It helps a patient know if they need to go to the ER or if there is another option.